very good afternoon everyone good afternoon good afternoon ma'am good afternoon good afternoon ma'am okay uh, in the previous seminars we have completed the entire topic that is role and qualities of human resources in that parents teachers supervisor and principal and before starting the seminar i took one topic that is that was the leadership okay so in that topic we have completed the part that is concepts of leadership and the factors of leadership uh, now i request asha she is going to continue the same topic with her seminar okay i request asha yes ma'am good afternoon ma'am yes ma'am i am there yes yes you want to you want screen sharing right now yes yes ma'am okay just wait for a while Screen is visible to everyone. Yes. No, ma'am. Screen is not it, ma'am. Not it. No, ma'am. Just wait. I'm going to share it again. Now it is visible. Yes. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No even single student able to see this screen. Yes. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. It's not visible. It's visible now. Yes or no? No, no, no ma'am. No, not visible, ma'am. What's wrong with this? I don't know. now it is visible yes ma'am it is only showing pratibha dabde has started screen sharing and nothing is visible no screen ma'am i don't know why this is happening okay let me try just give me one minute sure ma'am Okay, now it is visible. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. It's visible. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Asta, please continue with your seminar. All the best. Thank you, ma'am. A leader is the one who knows the way, who goes the way, and who shows the way. Good morning, good afternoon, and welcome you all. Today, I, Asta, welcome you all in this seminar. Ma'am, next slide. So now I am going to uh, present my views on the topic leadership, needs of leadership, and styles or types of leadership. Ma'am, next slide. So after hearing the word leadership, what comes in your in your mind? Who is a leader? Obviously, what leaders do? 
so leaders are those who influence people to accomplish mission inspire commitment and improve organization obviously these are the qualities of a leaders a true leader is someone who possesses a clear vision is courageous and have a clear focus we cannot say everyone is a good leader or everyone is having the capability to persuade a leader uh, it is very common during the time of election i just want to give an example during the time of election people say that this leader is not good this politician is not good he has not done anything in the last 5 years but when it comes to narendra modi what people actually say yeah the man has something in him himself he is doing a great job what people say har har modi ghar ghar modi is bar modi sarkar so that is the influence of uh, that that man having influence over the over the whole our country over the people of our country so that is what to to true leadership is called so the art of motivating a group of people for the accomplishment of the goal is called leadership ma'am next slide please so let us know more about the leadership by the definition given by don lay and chester banard so first the definition is aste ye so your voice is not audible aste ha given by don lays leadership is a part of management but not all of it aasta your audio is on mute mode aasta ma'am wait wait i'm checking my internet connection ma'am i'm checking my internet connection wait not, for a while but now your audible clear you can continue yes yes ma'am okay ma'am yeah so let us know more about the leadership from the definition given by donley and chester banard so first let us uh, know the definition given by donley leadership is a part of management but not all of it so management as we all know management is a very big concept many things like resource gathering planning so many things are involved in it and uh, uh, management is a very big concept and leadership is just a part of management as i already told you that leadership is the human ability uh, to persuade others to bind group of people and to motivate uh, and to motivate it to strive toward a stated objective uh, so for a, it is very important for a leader uh, to to have a clear vision and to persuade people uh, to, for motivating and for the achieving of for the achievement and for the fulfill and to fulfill the objective uh, to achieve their goal so it is very important and the second definition that is given by chester banard that leadership is the quality of behavior of individuals whereby they guide people or their activities in organizing efforts leader we can say that leadership is a quality that is not present in every one of them we can't say as i have already told you we can't say everyone is having this quality or this skills of leadership leadership must require the persuading quality the motivating quality and how they are, how the leader is organizing and how the leader is keeping all the group members together and achieving that goal uh, leadership is not only in the field of political we can see leadership in educational field also i want to give one more example so that it can be more clear to all of you um, uh, i want to give example of our college few weeks ago uh, an fdp program was organized in our college and we all know that our uh, that principal sir has organized it very well he has distributed and the duties among various teachers among and, and the efforts and the hard work of various teachers because only because of that the program was great successful and commendable so that is what uh, that is actually a, a good leader is and that is what actually leadership is called uh, so uh, as we all know leadership is needed so moving ahead we will uh, see what are the needs of leadership ma'am next slide please so what are the needs of leadership so first one is motivation so leadership motivates the people to a higher level of performance uh, there is no doubt in that if one uh, if uh, one is motivated or if, uh, if you you motivate someone 
if uh, uh, for example if i am self motivated or i am motivated by someone then obviously my efficiency of doing work will, will be maximum i will give my 100% so leadership motivates the people to a higher level a good leadership can maximize the efficiency of uh, of their worker or a team members by motivating them so leadership is important or needed in that way second one is teamwork as we all look all know that nothing is possible without proper teamwork or coordination i just want to give you one more example of teamwork in this pandemic situation of covid 19 you all must have heard about the name sonu sood he is a very famous actor and doing a great job each day since covid 19 a uh, lockdown in mumbai he is uh, he is arranging bus for migrant laborers to reach their home so this is not possible without proper teamwork we cannot say this work would have been possible without teamwork so teamwork is very important so in that way uh, leadership is important uh, is needed third one is goal for achieving any goal or for if if we set a goal so for that leadership is important the leader must have a clear vision and our uh, courage to achieve that goal and the uh, leader must be focused on that and motivate people that how you can achieve that goal and inspire the people so that is very important in leadership goal is very important the fourth one is management as we all know management plays an important role without managing without co asta your voice is not audible asta but a focused vision and it a leader must be focused uh, if a leader is not focused then it is impossible to accomplish a, a goal and it is impossible to coordinate with all the team members and the fourth one is a strategy a leader must have a strategy a good strategy or we can say a good plan if a plan a does not work then it then a leader must have plan b or a backup plan we can say for the accomplishment of the goal and the last one is challenges for uh, accomplishment of any goal or for achieving any goal challenges comes in any path or barriers come in any path so it depends upon the leader how he is uh, conquering that uh, challenges and overcome that challenges so it all depends upon the leader so in that's why leadership is needed moving ahead ma'am next slide please everyone is having is at uh, the next slide is styles or types of leadership everyone is having its own style or types of leadership in teaching all also we have seen that every teacher is uh, having his own way of teaching so in leadership also everyone is having his own way of leadership it's a leadership method of providing direction implementing plans or motivating people so basically there are three types of leadership first one is autocratic leadership second one is democratic leadership and the last one is uh, free reign leadership so first we will discuss about the autocratic leadership ma'am next slide please what is autocratic leadership as the word auto means by itself so autocratic leaderships also known as authoritarian authoritarian leaderships is a leadership style characterized by individual control over all decisions and little input from all uh, from group members in this leadership uh, the decision is only within the hands of one person the one person is more dominating over the others as we can the, see in this picture the boss or we can say the leader is having the bossy type of nature and he is dominating over the others he is scolding all his team members and a threat kind of environment is separated among all the team members autocratic leaders typically make choices based on their ideas and judgments are rarely accept advice from followers they uh, they take their own advice they rarely take advice from their followers whatever they come in their mind they their de their decision will be decided by themselves only no one can uh, give their advice in that or they hardly accept the advice of anyone autocratic leadership involves absolute uh, authoritarian control over the group uh, the leader is having the dominant the leader is very much dominant and having a bossy type of nature 
so this is the characteristic or we can say this is the autocratic leadership style as we all know everything has uh, has its pros and con and we can say uh, at disadvantages or uh, advantages so first we will look the advantages of leadership style ma'am next slide so what are the advantages of autocratic leadership style first one is quick and clear decision as the decision is taken by one person only only one person can decide what is to be done next and what is our next step so it is very so the decision is very quick and clear clear chain of command only one person is commanding one person is directing and guiding the people so the chain is very clear confidential matter can be kept secret if there is anything that is uh, 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 as we all know that uh, there is something matter that which cannot be uh, gone inside outside the circle outside the friend circle or uh, we can say the outside the members of the group so in this um, in this autocratic style there is one benefit there is a benefit that the confidential matter and or the thing which we cannot uh, want to go outside our circle then that can be kept secretly because it is commanded by one person only the fourth one is satisfactory work as the threat kind of environment or we can say the leader is having a bossy kind of nature or dominant over the others so whatever he wants to do he can um, he can give command to his team members and, uh, and the result will be in that way only and the work will be in that way only that he wants and the last one is many people prefer to work uh, under uh, centralized uh, uh, authority structure and discipline of uh, in this i want to give an example of military in army we have seen that there is very much discipline and in that in army or we can say military air force or in any defense service autocratic leadership is very much needed we must need a command if there is no command over a group of people or uh, over a military then we can say it will not the work will not go in that direction as we want so in 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 army or in uh, military forces we can say autocratic leadership uh, style is followed and i want to give one more example of autocratic leadership style you all must have know about the kim jong the supreme leader of north korea he is having the autocratic leadership style from our history i want to give an example of adolf hitler he is also having the autocratic leadership style moving ahead we will see the disadvantages of autocratic leadership style ma'am next slide please disadvantages so the first disadvantage is employees lack motivation as there we as we know that there is no motivation because the leader is very much dominating so he don't motivate and their group members he is just giving the order and order he is not motivating all the group members he is not taking advice from them so it is uh, so it's a kind of disadvantage the second one is more dependence so all the team members will depend upon the leader whatever the if some uh, if uh, some emergency may come then he uh, then the team members can't decide what what we will do next because the leader is not there to to command them so in that case uh, uh, the team members are more dependent on the leader so dependent uh, dependency will be more on the leader the third disadvantage is our subordinates are forced to follow the uh, direction the subordinates means the team members or we can uh, say uh, who those who are working under the leader so they are forced whatever direction or whatever uh, uh, he is directing them whatever he is advising them whatever command the leader is giving them they have to follow uh, follow it no matter how but they have to follow it or otherwise they uh, it uh, the team members will get punished or these kinds of environment we can see in uh, autocratic leadership or uh, it is a disadvantage of autocratic leadership and the fourth one is creative ideas are not utilized at as only one person uh, take the decision and one person is responsible for everything one person is doing everything the leader is not taking advice of anyone is not uh, discussing with anyone any problem so the uh, ideas of the team members are not discussed so in that way their creative ideas are not utilized uh, so this is one more disadvantage of leadership moving ahead uh, ma'am next slide just wait for a while sure ma'am
Dil is busy, Bill. Yes, sir, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Now it is visible. Visible, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. Ma'am, ma next slide. Yes, ma'am. The second one is democratic leadership style. So, what as we all know, India is a democratic, and democratic means means freedom. Ma'am, next slide. So, what is democratic leadership style? Democratic leadership, also known as participative leadership or shared leadership. it is a type of leadership in which members of group take more participative role in the decision making process in this leadership we can all say uh, uh, also it is known as participative leadership as the leader take the advice of all the group members or it is a combined advice combined efforts from all of them so it is also known as participative leadership because all the group members are participating in them they are giving advice they are giving their ideas they are participating so there it is a kind of participative leadership or shared leadership in this type of leadership uh, can apply to any organization from private business to school to government this type of leadership can be seen in anywhere as we can we know that india is our democratic country and we know that prime minister narendra modi whatever the big decision is taken in our country he must take advice from uh, their members various, uh, various uh, 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 for example, various ministry are there, HRD ministry, cabinet. So many things are uh, there. So many meetings are held. After that, a big decision is taken in our country. So in that, so this is a kind of democratic leadership where everyone is valued. Uh, everyone participation is must. So uh, this kind of leadership is. Uh, uh, so it's a kind of democratic leadership which is seen, uh, which can be seen everywhere. Ma'am, next slide. So let uh, now let us see the advantages or disadvantages of uh, uh, democratic leadership advice. So the first one is uh, first we will see the advantages, and the first one is cooperative relation. As we know, as we all know that uh, it is a cooperative uh, in this relation uh, in this leadership style. There is a cooperative relation because. everyone is participating and the leader is uh, uh, taking views or taking ideas from everyone so there is cooperation from all of them so this is the advantages of democratic leadership style the second one is positive mo motivation as in this leadership style the people are highly motivated because the leader is given them chance the, the uh, team members are being valued by them so they uh, they um, Uh, so the people uh, uh, can give their hundred percent and can maximize the efficiency of their organization and for the accomplishment of their goal they give their hundred percent because there is positive motivation within their selves. The third one is believe in employees as the leaders believed in their employees that's why they ad they took advice from their team members so that's why uh, because he believe he have a faith in their team members that yes. they can do it uh, their efforts can make this uh, this work a great uh, a great achievement will be there a great success will be there if if i will take advice from that so that is one more advantage of uh, our democratic leadership style the fourth one is open communication as uh, there is open communication between leaders and the team members everyone give their views everyone is free to share their views everyone share their ideas so there is a open communication between democratic leadership style we can say that the fifth one is group decision making as it is in in autocratic leadership we have seen that only one person is taking the decision but but in this everyone is giving their views their opinions their suggestion so it is a group decision making whatever decision is is has been taken it has been decided within the group so it is one more advantage and the last advantage is no need to tight control and uh, at it is very free matlab everyone can share their views so no any dominating nature or bossy nature of the leader so no need to tight control the team members it is very freely you can give your advice you can share with your views so this is a kind of uh, a democratic leadership now next we will see the disadvantage of democratic leadership so first disadvantage is time consuming as we all know it is very time consuming 
that to take advice from everyone to share their views and after that we will take the decision so it is more time consuming the second one is requirement of educated subordinates if the subordinates or we can say the team members are not educated if some decision has we have to take some decision and the team members is not educated he or she may uh, even don't know what what is this what is right for our country or what is right for our organization what is wrong for our organization then how he or she can take the decision this, this is the one more disadvantage of democratic leadership the first the third one is lack of control in this there is lack of control it, so much commanding or we can say uh, that type of nature commanding type of others then uh, the lack of control can be seen within the group this type of leadership i i can say this type of leadership is not useful in case of defense services or uh, or in military services for that we can use autocratic leadership but uh, uh, if we want uh, if we want to take advice from everyone for we, uh, uh, this type of leadership can be uh, seen in schools or in any organized organization where we want to take advice or views from every people where we want that every people are being valued that in that case this uh, democratic leadership style is very much beneficial third one is evasive employees may create problems those employees who don't want to or who are reluctant to do any kind of work then they then they uh, they can create problem in this uh, and in uh, in um, making any decision or in giving their views or in giving their ideas so it is uh, it is one more disadvantage of democratic leadership style the last one is delay in decision at it requires a lot of time we uh, first we will take the advice of everyone then their views are been taken and after that we will uh, take one decision so it is more time consuming and the um, and we and if we want to take quick decision then it will be and then it will take more time and the delay will be decision will be taken so this is one more disadvantage of uh, democratic leadership style now moving ahead we will see the last leadership style that is free reign leadership style ma'am next slide please next slide is free, uh, free uh, leader uh, reign leadership style it is also known as uh, uh, it is also known as less uh, fire or uh, individual centered uh, leadership style as in this leadership style the word suggests individual uh, centered leadership style it means it depends on the individual only individual are responsible individual can give their ideas this uh, all the decision or all the uh, um, uh, anything that can be taken are left on their own the individual can take the decision ind ind individual can direct individual can guide so uh, on their own subordinates or we can say team members are left on their own the inherent the inherent idea behind this concept is that if the subordinates are allowed to work on the principle they will put in more hard work and make full use of their capability we can say that if if the responsibility will be uh, uh, on them only on the team members only then they feel that yes we are responsible for them so we have to do it anyhow we have to prove ourselves we have to increase uh, the efficiency of our work we have to uh, uh, we have to uh, for proper uh, team management for proving their selves uh, so um, this leadership style is very much needed and so they will uh, put their hard, they will, so they will put in more hard work and they will work hard more i want to give one more example of i want to give uh, one example of this kind of leadership uh, uh, like in ganesh festival the uh, shinde sir has gave us the responsibility of organizing the event so this is the example of free reign leadership uh, style i can say that sir has given the example because sir has no have faith in ourselves that we can do it sir has just given us the responsibility that on this day this is uh, your program will be there and you have to organize so we managed if we shared the responsibility among all of them we shared their views and we distributed the duties that you have to do this work you have to do the anchoring you have to do the dancing bar so this is the kind of free reign leadership style next we will see the advantages of free reign leadership style um, next slide 
so the first advantage is develop development of self confidence in subordinates it is very obvious obvious that if you give responsibility to someone then it will take it seriously and a, uh, and a self confidence will develop in their self because if the work will be uh, will be in the positive direction for the, then for the next time the person will get self motivated yes i can do it and for the next time i will give my 100% and and i will do it in a more better way so that kind of self confidence is developed in that person the second one is high level motivation in that leadership style the person is highly motivated because the leader is his having faith on him that yes we can do it that's why the, uh, the leader is giving responsibility to their team members yes our team members can do it we are having faith on them so high level of motivation can be seen in this kind of leadership chance to take initiative to the uh, uh, subordinates here initiative can take a can um, here in subordinates or we can uh, say team members can take the initiative to start something for example i have already told you that sir has been given us responsibility so we have managed everything we have taken the initiative to arrange the program and after that we did it very well so this kind of uh, advantage we can see in pre reign real leadership style the the fourth one is people feel values here we uh, here we can see that the people feel values yes we are also important we can also do something our advice is also important for our team members so this is one more advantage of free reign leadership style the fifth one is people perform well even when the leader is absent in this when the leader is absent but the responsibility is on the shoulder or is on the shoulder of the team members so the people knows yes it's my responsibility so i have to give my 100% even when the leaders are not there so what happened it's my responsibility i have to give my 100% because the leader is having my has having a faith on myself so i have to prove myself so in that way he will always give his 100% so these are the advantages of free reign leadership style next we will see the disadvantages of free reign leadership style ma'am next slide the first disadvantage is difficulties in cooperation as it requires as we have to take advice from everyone every views we have to listen so sometimes it may happen that chaos will be created or someone will not get ready that no we are not going we are not ready to perform on this for example i have given you the example of any festival we of we are conducting then someone is not ready no we are not participating in speech no we are not giving in that so in that way there is difficulty in cooperation we can't cooperate properly the second one is decision making may take a lot of time as it requires a lot of time because we have you have to take suggestion from all of them what are you doing what are your views regarding regarding what are you performing so in that way it takes a lot of time the third one is suitable only for highly educated employees it is suitable only for highly educated employees if the employees are highly educated if the employees know that yes uh, what uh, if we do if we plan according to this or we uh, if if our strategy will be this to achieve this task then only it will get uh, successful and then only the result will be 100% for uh, but if the employees are not that much educated or that much knowledge is not there then it will definitely uh, lead some and uh, we can say the uh, the result will be not that much 100% or we can so the program will be not that much successful so these are the advantages we can see in the uh, free reign leadership style as everything has it at pros and cons so these leadership uh, styles have already uh, i have explained its pros and cons so that's all about leadership needs and styles of leadership and the uh, uh, what is leadership so ma'am next slide thank you uh, thank you all for your, for your cooperation cooperation and thank you ma'am for giving me this opportunity thank you okay uh, students if you have any query please you ask your queries to astha yes it's your turn no queries from your side yes no ma'am understood in that topic yes ma'am so to whom am i supposed to ask questions ask yes. the you people as you wish ma'am 
Okay, first uh, we'll start with Asta. Yes, ma'am. The screen is visible to everyone. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am, visible. Okay. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Now it is visible. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Just wait for a while. Sure. Okay, now it is visible. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. Asta, I'm going to show you some pictures. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Now it's, it's your turn to identify particular style of leadership. Sure, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, uh, it's a... Uh... Okay, we'll, we'll display for all three pictures. And then uh, okay, they can decide the style of leadership. This is the second picture. Yes, this ma'am. This is the third picture. Okay, this is the first one. This is second. And this is third one. Ma'am, it is first one. Yes, yeah, this is first one. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, the first one is according to me. It's a... Uh, autocratic leadership style because uh, only one person or oh, i mean, means leader is uh, giving command or guiding his team members or group members okay the second so, yes ma'am ma'am it's a uh, uh, ma'am it's a democratic yes ma'am democratic leadership style ma'am it's a free reign leadership style okay Yes. Okay, students, remaining students, now it's your turn. All whatever answers given by Asta, all answers were correct or not? Yes, ma'am, correct. Yes, ma'am, it's correct. It's correct. Means it's uh, it's uh, means you understood the entire topic, the particular leader style of leadership. Okay. Uh, Asta. Yes, ma'am. Uh, suppose you are a teacher of uh, class tenth. And you gave one project to the yes, students, okay? And yes, uh, the principal, she told you that I want yes, project submissions from all the students before this. She gave the particular date. I want submission of the project from all the students on the particular date or before the particular date. And if any student is Hello. not, yes, am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Now you are audible. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And uh, she told to you that I want submissions from all the students. And if any student, he failed to submit his project, then I will fine you rupees 500 rupees. Then it comes under yes, which style of leadership? Fine, 500. Yes, ma'am. Uh, definitely it will be... Uh, uh, Autocratic lead, uh, uh, autocratic, yes, ma'am, autocratic leadership style. Okay, I want answers uh, from others, other students. Yes, I want answers from other students. Second type, I think so. You understood the example? 
the principal yes, told Ma'am. asa uh-huh. that uh, she supposed to submit all the projects uh, of his stud- of her students before the particular date if if a students they were they are not able to submit their projects in time so for e students they will fine asa rupees 500 rupees ma'am it's definitely according to me it's autocratic style because the principal is only giving the command and if if it will be not be completed on the time then he then uh, the principal is punishing me so for me it's autocratic only don't know ma'am okay see uh, one uh, i have displayed one slide so this slide itself explain that the style of leadership or you can say see these are the power style you can say please see the uh, slide uh, properly see the autocratic autocratic this is the participative this is the free reign so uh, the autocratic the other word for the autocratic that is authoritarian leadership style for participative that is democratic and for free reign that is laissez faire okay so these are the different names for the different styles okay here in the autocratic who is taking decision ma'am yes. only one person the leader is taking the decision only one person see means here there are different styles or the types of leadership based on the decision making okay so in autocratic the leader is the only person who is taking decision in the participative in participative ma'am leader uh, and ma'am employees the team members so basically in decision. participative the see the final decision it is always taken by the leader but while taking this right. before taking decision he took the opinions or views of the employees okay that is nothing but the participative right. democratic and in free reign what see here the decision making it is it is see decision making is by the employees only the team employees, members only. yes employees only by the team members only but who will be the responsible for whatever decision is taken by the employees who will be the, who will be the responsible leader leader is responsible uh, yes of course yeah. the leader is the responsible means is in any case so he is a leader so he is a responsible for each and every decision but the only difference is the decision is taken by whom okay so sometimes and and the opinions uh, considered that also matters so yes. basically what we are thinking so if the particular person or the particular leader is the bossing around the people if that particular leader is using mis uh, mis uh, misuse of his power or you can say the misbehavior of the leader actually that is not the autocratic leadership the autocratic leadership is means that all the decisions are taken by the leader okay see all the decisions are taken by the leader and leader is having full control over all the employees that is nothing but the autocratic but what we are doing what we are taking the miss uh, what you can say this is the misconception our misconception that autocratic means the bossing around the Boss. people yes. that is not true okay okay okay, okay. A- any other query yes okay asa you have conducted your seminar very nicely with the different examples uh, you thank started you, your your seminar with that thank uh, you so much with uh, that nara Yes. What what was that Nara by Ab Modi? Ma'am, a leader, a leader is one who knows the way, who goes the way, and he shows the way. Ma'am, Nara of this Modi was her her Modi career. Her her Modi career, Modi. Modi. Okay. Yes, ma'am. It 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 uh, it shows that the influence of Modi in in all of us. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Uh, and yes. she also gave example of the favorite actor that is, I think, uh, Sonu Sood. So ma'am. Sonu Sood. He is doing a great job. Yes, now. really. He's yes. In, pandemic situation really is doing very great job okay yes, so you see entire see how, how she has conducted her seminar she gave different example and i am expecting the same thing from uh, you also okay see the condition of the seminar she uh, but i think one thing was missing in your ask in your seminar asta in yes, between you supposed to ask some questions because this is the virtual seminar yes, so uh, interactions were missing in your seminar So yes. next time, please sure, take care ma'am. of this. Sure, okay. ma'am. Okay. Sure, ma'am. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank so, you. One thirty-one. So uh, our lecture is lecture time is over. So I'm going to stop here. Okay. Who is going to give seminar tomorrow? Yes. Let me know, please.
Yes. Okay, no issues. Now I'm going to end this lecture. Thank you so much. See you in the next session. Thank, Thank you, you ma'am. Thank, Thank you, you ma'am.